Picking an IDP like Okta is often the most critical step in a cloud migration. And for many of you, most of the applications you already use or plan on using have their own identity-centric functions. But these functionalities are usually made for those particular applications. Let's take, for example, Microsoft's conditional access policies, which is a recent add-on to their Azure AD offering, which allows customers to make more granular access decisions for applications and offers advanced capabilities for O365 apps. I'm now joined by Vijay Puchamani, Product Manager here at Okta, focusing on our Microsoft integration. Vijay, thanks for joining me today. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Vijay Pichumani. Uh, I work as a Senior Product Manager here at Okta, leading our Microsoft integration, so everything dealing with Office 365, Windows 10, and Azure. So yeah, I'm really excited to be with you here today. Vijay, many of our customers, our prospective customers, they already use Office 365 and Azure AD. Can you tell me, what is it that's special about conditional access? Sure. Uh, conditional access is very similar to Okta sign-on policies today, right? Conditional access is a tool used by Azure Active Directory to bring signals together, create policies that says, if this happens, then do that, and enforce like an organization security requirements in like one single place. By using Azure conditional access and Okta sign-on policies, you can ensure as a customer that your organization is secure and you have the right policy controls in place to ensure only the right people have access to the right resources at the right time. Okay, so what if what if you already have Okta Azure IDP? Can you still use these conditional access policies? Yeah, you can definitely use conditional access policies on top, on if you have Okta as the IDP, right? The key with Azure AD conditional access is it has advanced security controls for Office 365 apps because Microsoft is very good with tying signals with Office 365 and Windows 10 via conditional access. So if you are a joint customer of Office 365 and Okta, we definitely encourage you to use Okta sign-on policies together with Azure conditional access policies and ensure you have the best security requirements in place for your organization. So absolutely, you can use them together. So if we plan on using MFA in the conditional access policies, can you still use Okta MFA? Like, can you use the two solutions together? Yeah, great question. So like I said earlier, Azure conditional access is basically a policy construct that says, if this happens, do that. When we say do that, one of the actions that you can configure in conditional access is actually to request for an MFA if a certain condition happens. Okay, that all sounds great. Uh, everything on the technical side is lining up, but now let's think about the end user. How's the end user gonna experience this? Are they gonna have to enroll in multiple factors, some for Okta, some for Microsoft? Uh, are they gonna get double prompted? What, what's it gonna look like for them? Yeah, this is a very good question and something I get asked a lot. Uh, so what lo makes logical sense is, hey, if I have a policy in conditional access and if I prompt for an MFA, then customers expect to have an Azure MFA app on their phone to complete an MFA challenge, right? This is not the case. So when you have your Office 365 do domains federated with Okta, if you have a conditional access policy that requests for an MFA, we introduced a new integration last year where we could pass MFA claims over to Azure AD. Azure AD will not prompt for a second MFA prompt for you in this instance. This goes further to explain how Okta is really striving to integrate more tightly with Microsoft and at the end of the day, giving customers the best experience and helping you use the tools that you have. You know, so far, everything you've said is great. All the technical stuff lines up, the end user experience lines up, but let's actually see what it looks like. We'll start here with Okta and Microsoft. Each of these has their own policy. On the Microsoft side, we have a policy for on or off network. On the Okta side, we have a policy for every login. What's important to note here is that Okta is the more restrictive policy. Here on the conditional access side with Microsoft, when a user is connected to the network, they're fine. When they jump off network, the policy will trigger requesting them to re-log in. Since the domain is federated with Okta, that request goes over to Okta. And on the Okta side, we'll force that user to re-log in and do MFA. Once that's successful, we'll send a response back to Microsoft. And in that response, we're gonna send a set of claims that tells Microsoft that this user has successfully met the MFA requirement. Check out this demo. 
Here we are at the standard Okta login page. We already started the SP initiated flow from O365 where conditional access is in use. We'll log in and you'll see that we're prompted with MFA from Microsoft. Let's enter in our code to continue this flow and get access to O365. Now let's jump over to Okta. We'll first enable an MFA policy in Okta, and this one happens to be at the org level. Now we'll enable the O365 pass claims feature by going to the Okta feature manager and enabling it. Next, we'll go into our O365 app and simply edit and save our settings. This will update the federation settings to support MFA. Now let's keep logging in and try again from a fresh browser. We'll browse to O365 again, enter our federated domain name, and we're redirected to Okta. Log in with our Okta credentials, and here we're now prompted for Okta Verify. We approved that, and now we're back in O365. In order to use conditional access in Azure AD, you'll need an Azure AD Premium P1 license. The functionality in Okta to work with conditional access is already included with SSO, and it's EA today. Thanks for watching.